Hello kids, so on today's exciting episode of Art Attack we're going to show you how to take this lovely cardboard template of a fuel tank for an EK Civic drag car and turn it into a functional aluminium fuel tank. And here's one I made earlier. So we've got some CAD, um, as the Binky boys would say, um, and this basically represents the overall dimensions of the tank the customer wants us to make. So you've also got our inlets and outlets. Obviously this toilet roll tube here represents the filler neck. Um, and obviously we've got some outlets at the bottom there. So I know we can use this to turn our dimensions into aluminium sheet. Now, usually when it comes to making a tank like this, we'll just get some raw um, aluminium sheeting in, uh, we'll draw it out, cut it out with handles. Uh, but with this one, um, I'm going to get a laser cut. So uh, let's just go over to the computer quickly and we'll show you what the drawing looks like. So this is the tank all laid out. Um, as you see, pretty simple. Uh, we've got a tape measure um, and we've measured the dimensions and that's give us this 2D uh, a flattened version of the tank and um, so what we're going to do now is we're going to send this over to our good friends at ICB uh, and get them to laser cut it for us and then when it gets here we can get folded and get it welded so we're back from the laser cutters we've got our two halves of the sheet here um, so what we're going to do now is we're going to go over to uh, the box and pan folder and uh, we'll get it folded up next so we've cleaned the material up just to get rid of a bit of dross on the back side. Um, I'm just going to show you what I like to do in my drawings is that obviously there's a fold line just here. So what I do is I put these little nicks in the drawing here and there. So when I put it, so when I put it in the folder, we know where to line up the fingers. So we fold across our fold line. Simples. got both halves all done really happy that's come out so what we're gonna do now is before we tack it together we're gonna take it back apart uh, we're gonna clean the inside of the seams both sides and insides of some acetone um, and then we'll put it back together tack it up and then we can actually get around to doing a full weld So that's the two halves tacked together. It's gone together quite nicely. Got a bit of a gap there, but that's just uh, an area where I fold at this side, but we can soon tap that round the hammer and you won't even realize that there was a gap there. But we're now resembling the uh, cardboard template we got sent. So what we'll do now is we're gonna go around and finish all the welds on the tank. So that's the tank all welded up. So next thing to do now is we've got our filler neck to weld on. 
and uh, the customer has marked what fitting goes where so we need to put a, a dash 8 in there and a dash 6 and then two dash 8s in the bottom there on so the last thing to do is to put these tabs on now uh, we've been told just to weld on some blank tabs we had them laser cut too and then uh, the customer will then decide where they want to drill the hole so uh, yeah next So, that's the tank all finished up. Happy about it's come out. Some of the welds could be prettier, but that's life. So yeah, uh, we're not gonna bother cleaning it up or polishing it or brushing it. Um, end of the day, it's going on a drag car, so it's uh, purpose is to function and do quick times and not look pretty. It's gonna be hidden behind the bumper anyway. So yeah, so yeah, just a quick overview of the cardboard template and the welded one side by side looks very similar got the brackets and the tabs on and we've got dash 8 fitting to the bottom there so I hope I've not bored you too much with this video um, I just thought I'd show you the process of what I do when it comes to these sort of jobs. Um, sometimes it's not possible for the customer to bring the car to us, uh, but providing you can get your cardboard and your sticky tape out and make us a template with some pretty accurate dimensions, uh, we can churn out something for you without bringing the car to us. But other than that, I hope you've enjoyed watching. Please consider like, subscribe, comment, share, and all that bullshit. Um, and we'll see you in the next video. Bye.